villager erupts into tears in front of town officials. He explains that his daughter was taken as a payment for a loan that he could not repay. Other village girls have been disappearing in the night as well. Witnesses come forth with news that the village girls were taken to the temple in the bamboo forest. Because of the temple, the bamboo forest is considered a holy ground, not to be disturbed by the government and the police. Lord Goda has no choice but to send you into the bamboo forest for silent justice. Huh? 
That's a nice pair you have. Wait! No! I'm not ready! I'm ready! Why don't I show you? Ah! Let the girl... go? What? How dare you disturb my game of cards? Aha! You are one of Gorda's pets. Ah! Hey! Get back here! Your family owes Echigoya, damn it! Echigoya? Looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. Eat this! <laughs> <laughs> mention of Echigoya's name by Tajima in the bamboo forest was proof that Tokube had inherited the family business after his father was killed. You must infiltrate the Echigoya estate and punish the evil merchant.
forget it. Ninja!
dumb coward ran away. Father searched for all those years. Hi. Just between you and me, it is known as the Jewel of the Earth. Legend says there are two more like it hidden somewhere in this realm. He who acquires all three will discover power beyond his wildest dreams. Hmm. Now, that is very, very interesting. Can get you all three, you know. No? Uh, is that a business <laughs> proposition? Consider it a favor. Kidnapping <gasps> girls isn't enough, huh? You must be one of Goda's dogs. Now let's see. Kidnapping, jewel theft, bribery. You two have been bad boys. Guards! Guards! Well, I really should be getting along. Go ahead and run, coward! The blood of this ninja will stain your tatami and will rust my sword.
Echigoya, where have you gone? Exactly is going on here. At last, I finally have it. Soon, Oda's jewel of virtue will be mine as well. Time has nearly come, sir. You will enjoy yourself. I promise. <laughs> quietly as you report to him regarding the three jewels that Echigoya spoke of. However, he makes no mention of it and asks you to forget the incident and the conversation. A few months later, a treacherous incident occurs. Hamada, one of Lord Goda's men, takes Lord Goda hostage and demands that the jewel of virtue be brought to him. Timed with Hamada's acts of treason, a mysterious band of ninjas attacks the castle and takes over every floor. You must hurry to rescue Lord Gota and dispose of the traitor.
Come any closer, or I'll cut Gorda's throat. <gasps> Ayame, we must do as he says. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Ayame. Please, take cover. This traitor must be punished. Yes, get him. <sighs> Insanity, treason, whatever! I choose not to live by your rules! <laughs> <laughs> Everything! <laughs> 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 
I have the jewel of the earth. The jewel of heaven will be in my hand shortly. And I will take your jewel of virtue. Hamada, have you gone mad? I am not Hamada. I am Tenrai! <laughs> The mysterious voice that came out of the dead body of Hamada called himself Tenrai. Goda is shocked that Tenrai knew of the three secret jewels. Long ago, the jewels of heaven, earth, and virtue had given the Goda family the power to control the realm. Two of them were stolen by thieves in the past. The one left hidden in Goda's possession is the jewel of virtue. With the jewel of earth in Tenrai's possession, Goda must find the Jewel of Heaven before Tenrai gets his hands on it. But before that, Goda must prepare for other attacks by Tenrai. By seeing him control Hamada's dead body, it was evident that Tenrai was a master of spiritual powers. Lord Goda knew that he would need to have weapons of equal spiritual strength to fight back if Tenrai ever attacked again. Goda's family diary spoke of Yoto Sword that were so spiritually powerful that his ancestors had to seal the swords in a shrine in the cemetery to keep the swords from taking the lives of their owners. To get to the shrine, now an old house, one had to break five sealing stones within the cemetery. You must go to the shrine in the cemetery to retrieve the Yoto swords. But be careful, the spirits blocking your path cannot be hurt by normal swords. Oh! <laughs> 
Months pass after retrieving the Yoto swords. Lord Goda had sent all of his men to find the Jewel of Heaven before it fell into the hands of Tenrai, but to no avail. An old sage named Zenosuke, who lives in a red house in the Ronin village, was rumored to have information regarding the whereabouts of the Jewel of Heaven. Tenrai's men also have heard of this rumor and are already at the Ronin village. You must go to the Ronin village to meet the Nokia.
yourself.
Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait! Don't tell me you're going to beg for mercy. Your fighting style. Azuma ninja, right? Yeah, so? All right. My fight is not with you, Azuma. The old man ordered me never to cross swords with Azuma Ninja. Besides, you couldn't be the one who killed him. Just who are you? The name's Teshu Fujioka. I'm a doctor by trade. I'm going to take off before the authorities show up. See around, Azuma. Hey! Wait! Have you ever heard of the Jewel of Heaven? No, never heard of it. I've got to get going. Later. I've heard rumors of a private organization selling justice to villagers. That guy must be one of them. Ayane! Ricky Maru? Don't worry, I'm not a ghost. I haven't been able to return until now. No time to explain. But I'm back. Uh! Ayame! What are you doing? I was just testing you. Ricky Maru would have dodged my blade. What are you talking about? I am Ricky Maru. I'll prove it, if I have to. Where are you? That's what I thought. Well, well. Looks like I caught a big one. Uh. This will please Tenrai. <laughs> <laughs> Kimaira, you wake up in a cage. As you prepare for your escape, the guard in front of you suddenly shrieks in pain. Teshu had followed Kimaira there. After seeing that you can escape by yourself, Teshu tells you that Zenosuke mentioned the secret jewel being hidden in the eye of the statue in the Buddha temple. Then Teshu disappears. Guess that creep isn't so bad after all. <laughs> So, the jewel is in the Buddha's eye. What a clever hiding place. <laughs> hey, Psycho! Why did you bring me here?
You will address me as Dr. Kimura, and I'd like to play with you a little longer. My Hime! his last few breaths as he sets off a timer that will release poisonous fumes throughout the castle. Go to the bottom of the castle to escape.
As you turn the last corner, Onikage's voice fills the room. He sees you, and you stare back. From behind you, Rikimaru walks up to your side. You better be the real Rikimaru this time. What are you talking about? Huh. Nothing. Forget I said it. Ah, that. Lord Goda told me all about it. This Tenrai fellow seems to be quite inventive. Annoying is more like it. Anyway, I found out where the Jewel of Heaven is. It's in the eye of the Buddha in the temple. Leave Onikage to me. You should hurry to the Buddha temple. I'll leave him to you. Good. <laughs> I'm kinda like an old dog you can never get rid of. I just keep coming back. Bring it on. According to Teshu, the Jewel of Heaven is hidden in the eye of the statue inside the Buddha Temple. Ganda, one of Tenrai's Lords of Darkness, is already at the Buddha Temple with his men. Go to the Buddha Temple and execute Ganda. Nice to meet you too. According Up there, huh?
ไม่ถ่ายเนี่ย
So long. Huh? Tatsumaru? Is it you? So, Tenrai has turned you as well. Hold! I'm sorry, Tatsumaru, but I cannot permit you to give that to Tenrai. I see. Don't press your luck. You're still no match for me, little one. I don't want to kill you, but I will have to if we meet again. Farewell. Looks like no one's guarding the gates of hell these days. Huh. She's grown tough. Two out of the three jewels in possession by Tenrai, Lord Goda decides that his only chance of winning would be to conduct a surprise attack. Goda's men are sent across the land to find out where Tenrai is hiding. After a few days, the men gather information that Tenrai has set up a fortress on a nearby island. Any boats would be easily spotted, but a surprise attack could be conducted through a tunnel from within the limestone caverns that connects the island to the mainland. During the process of gaining this information, Goda loses half of his army, and Sekia, his advising council, was taken hostage by the enemy within the limestone caverns. You must go to the limestone caverns and rescue the council Sekia. Princess Kiku, Lord Goda's daughter, hands you her sister's bells for good luck. I'm only loaning these to you, you know. Kiku, yes. I'll return them to you when I get back. That's a promise, Ayame. With two out of the three jewels in possession by Tenrai,
Sekia thanks you for rescuing him. He also informs you that you will need to find a box of explosives to blast an opening in the wall that blocks the path to Tenrai's fortress. I've marked on your map where you should use the explosives.
wall shatters and the path to Tenrai's fortress opens. Just at that moment, a Shikigami strikes Sekia. Sekia! Sekia! Ah... Uh, I... I'm done for. Of Koda, the princess. Save them. I must... No! No! <laughs> Death is only a part of life, not an end, but a new checkpoint. A checkpoint at which we say goodbye to our friends here on Earth. And say hello to hell. You killed him. Now face the consequences! This blood? My blood? No! It can't be! Now you've got eternity to apologize for what you've done. the battle with Kagura, you return to Lord Goda to report the situation regarding the tunnel and about Sekia. Lord Goda thanks you for your courage and decides to hold a strategy meeting with his men. He returns a few hours later. The plan is to first send you in to kill the leader from the inside. You must infiltrate the fortress and eradicate the enemies from within.
This is not good. I knew you would come. And now that you have, I have no choice. I must kill you. Tatsumaru. I am on a mission, and you will not stand in my way. Run away from me. <laughs> How about this? Learned much, Ayame. Ah, uh, Tatsumaru. I thought Tenrai had turned you. Forget about me. You have a job to do. But I have so much to tell you. I'll be back. Oh. <laughs> This is not good.
I shall bring this world to its knees. Brilliant, don't you think? That's about as stupid as it gets. No one can control Mayo. Now, just give me the jewels. So I can kill you. <laughs> Full of spirit and overconfident, too. You are just as I thought you'd be. Too bad you have to die.
What? What is that light? My, my power, it's fading. Impossible. I can move again. This may be my only chance. Impudent wench! I still got more than enough power to destroy you! Won. But I will see this world destroyed before I lose to a ninja girl. Neo, I summon thee. Let my soul nourish you. <laughs> Rikimaru, get Ayame out of here. I'll take care of this, but let me do this one good deed. All right, go. Can you walk? Come on, Ayame. Let's go. Tatsu! What are you doing? Get out of here, now! <sighs> Let's go, Rikimaru. It's about time. Master Shunsai, I strayed from the path. Give me the strength to atone for my actions. I'm coming back! Wait for me! Kagami! Ayame, long ago, the gods created the jewels of heaven and earth to help people maintain order and peace. But the gods understood man's fallibility and so created a third stone to protect the world from those who would abuse the power given to them by the jewels of heaven and earth. That third stone was the jewel of virtue. The bells entrusted to you and Princess Kiku were created by that same jewel of virtue. Tatsu. 